Hey everyone. So today I have an eye look using Milani shadows. Um, my subscriber Debbie had asked me to do a look and I actually did it and then my I got cut off. So I actually have to come on and rec record it. <clears throat> so instead of taking the full eye makeup off, I did take the shadows off, but I still have a little bit of mascara on. So here's the look. So the colors I use from Milani are a Bella Cappuccino. I have that on my lid. And then in my crease, I have a Bella Mandarin. So that's Bella Cappuccino, Bella Mandarin. And then um, I used Bella Bronze with liner to smoke it out a little bit. And then I used the beloved Sonia Kashuk Eyes on Neutral Palette. Um, if you're looking for a really good palette, like drugstore, I really love this, as you can see. <laughs> I've hit pan. Um, and I use this brown. Really nice, all mattes. So as you can see, it's kind of like a fall look that I chose to do. Now, um, when I asked Debbie specific, she said just use a few. She must realize how I go from one palette to another. So um, this is the look that I came up with. So I'm going to recreate it over here. So let's get started. So on my lid, I am going to be using the Bella Cappuccino. I am I also tight lined with the Jordana 12 hour liner in brown. And I have my Rimmel in the lower lash line. I am using from e.l.f. their crease brush. No, I'm not using This is new though. This is a true crease brush. Um, it actually is pretty nice. Um, I just ordered this. I didn't get enough stuff from e.l.f. I ordered a lip exfoliator and a couple of mineral liners and brushes. Um, the other brush that I got is, and this is what I'm going to be using on my lid, it is called the blending brush. So as you can see, it's flat and it comes to a point. See how flat it is? Um, so I'm going to use this to apply the color to my lid, which I'm going into the Bella Cappuccino. And just put this, and I will say it does blend. So like if you want to really go into your crease, it is really nice and soft. And for $3, seriously, how could you go wrong? You know what I'm saying? So we applied that to the lid. My eye was primed. And what did I use? Oh, I used the painterly. And on my lips, by the way, is a Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the color 225. I think it's sultry. I am blind, but it's kind of like your lips, but really better. Okay, anyway, I am all over the place. So now in my crease, I am going to go in with the Bella Mandarin. You know, when it was funny when I saw this color, I was a little. Mm, and I'm using an E35 blending brush, top it off. But I will say that it's not as scary as you see. It's like a, to me, it's like a dark, a darker peach. Um, maybe a little darker than Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. But I thought as a transition, color and I didn't even put I have to put my tape on and if you wonder why I do that is basically to catch fallout and it's going to help with what I'm going to be doing as well and it makes everything become more uplifted you can use a um, business card but for me to be going like that it's just easier and I use the 
medical grade like this kind of tape is what you would use like you know to tape up a wound or something so and even when I did nursing this was like my favorite tape like paper tape I felt was useless and then we had other tape that was almost like a silk Ugh, that was a nightmare to get off so anyway so Debbie when you know I had asked like I said she wasn't specific so she said use whatever you want so now you could honestly stop here but I'm not gonna <laughs> so now I'm gonna go into my Sonia Kashuk and go into this color which is loved very well with an E25 from Sigma Load it on the brush, tap it off. So now I'm going into my real crease. And I'm going to turn the brush sideways so the color starts coming upward. You could even bring the color outward if you wanted. So the mandarin still is kind of peeking through, but you're getting more depth by putting the darker color in, you know, I put it in my real crease and a little bit upward. Now I did a look for Claude that was extremely super, super basic. You know, I don't want to do things that are too intense using, you know, 10 colors and this, I, I, mm -mm. I want them to kind of be, this is a little more creative than the one I did for Claudie. So now I'm taking, this is also new by e.l.f. This is their mineral eyeliner in coffee. Very soft. Um, I don't know how well it lasts. I just got this. So now I'm only going halfway across my lid because as you know, I have a small eye. So when I go all the way over, I feel like it closes my eye and makes it look smaller. So that's why you'll see me do half and half, because that helps to make the eye look elongated. Um, I won't do the whole... And this is the other reason why I have the tape, because now I'm going to blend this out with the copper. Not with the copper. <laughs> with the bronze. So I'm going to take that on, you know, you could take it on like a, a pencil brush if you want, which I do have one here. I'm going to first blend it out with this and then go with the pencil brush. So now you just go into the lash line and you're going to start blending. If you didn't want to use liner and you wanted to make this look even softer, you can just go in with the bronze and no liner. So I'm kind of kind of winging it slightly um, I don't do a super wing to my eye only because of the fact it would get lost so now I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush this is a Sigma E30 I love a pencil brush if especially with hooded eyes so now I'm just going to smoke this out now using So the line looks soft. Now let me take the tape off. So now as you can see, the tape has caught all the garbage. Um, can you believe my eyes are watering today? Um, by the way, I got medicine from my doctor friend. Pete went yesterday to the doctors and he gave us Clarinex, Singular, and a nasal spray. And of course, in New Jersey, it decided to be 70 something and humid. Really? Anyway, so now I'm gonna take the bronze and go under my eye halfway. Now, like I always say, if you want you don't have to go underneath the eye. A lot of the times I keep under here, you know, plain. I like all the action sometimes just on the top of the lid. It, it, it depends. It's all 
that's the thing with makeup. It's entirely up to you, whatever you want to do. So now I'm going to curl my lashes, put a little more mascara on them. So as you can see, this was a pretty um, easy eye look. I didn't want to do anything difficult. I am using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. I actually like this, but for my lashes, because they're so stubby, I've been watching um, Goss's, which he hasn't done in a while. I think his eyes were just getting so irritated from all the mascaras. But, um, you know, he has short lashes too, and I think for me, I do much better with a lengthening than a thickening formula. Just, I have short, stubby lashes, seriously. So, that is the eye look. It is four shadows and a liner, which, you know, you can do all sorts of things with these colors. It's kind of like fall inspired. So, there is the look. I hope you like it, Deb. Um, really simple. And like I said, if you don't have these colors, you could always use whatever you have on hand. Um, very simple. Simp. It's very simple. <laughs> very simple. Um, not complicated at all. You don't have to use the tape if you don't want. You don't have to line the eyes. You don't have to. And that's the thing. When I watch other people's eye looks, um, and even if they have a hooded eye, but they may have bigger hooded eyes than me. So when they're really smoking out the underneath, I can't do that. I look like a true crackhead, like I've been out all night, got punched in the face, kind of, it just doesn't, it doesn't suit me. And I feel like it even draws more attention to my bags. That is just me. If, it, if that looks great on you, that's what I love about makeup. You know, you take your own interpretation from an eye look. So there it is. I hope everybody enjoyed. I have um, another eye look coming up for my subscriber, Claude D, who um, begged me in one of her videos to do an eye look using the Maybelline Nudes, which very simple, very simplistic look coming up. Um, oh, by the way, Tammy, make up with a song. Look what she sent me. Are they not me or what? And necklace. Thank you, Tammy. That was so sweet. It was such a surprise. I didn't order it. And Mama was like, you got something from Canada. What'd you order? More makeup? I'm like, really, Ma? No. I said, I don't know. And I'm thinking, did I win something? Like, I, I, so it was, a, it was a great surprise. She had, when I wear her other stuff, I will point it out in the video. But thank you, Tammy. I sent you a thank you note, um, in your in the YouTube message box that was really really nice surprise it was very very nice um, and I also have skincare videos coming up on three products so be on the lookout for that and also a couple people had asked me about doing a look with the Laura Geller 8p set which I can actually do a whole Laura Geller look because I also have bronzer and blush from her too the only thing I won't be using is the mascara because I have mascaras going already. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If anybody has any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.